So, it's over. We beat that. So now what do we do? We have fun. So welcome to Let's Play What's This Game Actually Called? One second. Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, I can't remember its name. Thankfully I had its name open right next to me. Look at this, we see some old friends already, despite the fact that this game is in fact quite old. But Twin Mill, look at that, the most photogenic of racers. So we're gonna see some new faces here that we only ever see once, I'm sure. I haven't played this game or anything like that, I will point out. But I, I know there are two cars I know are in this game. I know that actually well, there's one car I'm not sure if we've seen yet. So I won't mention it yet. I know of one car, and I also know of Twin Mill being in this game, because Twin Mill is omnipresent throughout history apparently. But I believe Twin Mill is actually on the cover. Yes it is. It's a very photogenic car, I say, oftentimes, because I'm pretty sure it's appeared on more covers than anything else ever. Also, thankfully, it got past that screen. For some reason, the screen with white text that shows up before the loading screen, like more than half the time when I bring up that screen, it crashes. Don't know why. Oh. Now, I admit I haven't actually made sure that everything else is stable after that point. I've only ever gone slightly through menus, because this is a blind playthrough, like most fabulous things that I do. In fact, I'm not completely sure I have memory cards correctly set up on this emulator. I probably should. Nor do I know how save states work on this emulator now that I think about it. So let's hope this works. I've only used this emulator for one game. That's Klonoa Beach Volleyball. I don't, th I, I don't think I used save states in Klonoa Beach Volleyball. I think I used actual saves. But I had to reinstall this emulator because that was on a older computer. Here we are. I also I apologize for talking over that song in the opening cinematic, but of course, copyright issues, probably. Split an image, we've seen you before. Wait, weren't you in the computer simulation? So, I will say, right now... Image two. Oh, nice. We we're gonna see what the names are. But, so, what's the actual end goal for this game? Like, what's the win condition? When do we stop playing it? I don't know, because I don't know what's in this game. But, as an estimate, what I'll say right now... Ooh. Oh jeez, it actually has... A, a good variety of things. Huh. That's really weird. Like, it's actually a slider. Why? Uh, so we might try t tweaking the difficulty as time goes on. I'll, I'll stay at medium for now. Audio mode. Stereo, please. Controls. How do we control this game? Tell me. Why is it off? Why are you off? Why can't I turn you on? Is this a game like... Did, not, did all PlayStation 1 controllers... I'm playing this on PlayStation 1. Did all PlayStation 1 controllers not support Rumble? I, I might think they have a controller that doesn't support Rumble or something. I don't know. I don't know if I can check correctly configure the rumble on my controller or not. I want to find out. Press directions to move that direction. Okay, so handbrake is L2. Weird. R1 is recover. Let me turn off the HUD. Interesting. Okay. Seems like I have a licensed soundtrack or something like that, which is the bane of my existence here on YouTube, but we'll see what it's like. We'll try it out. High scores. Are there actually points? Oh, we'll, we'll never find out. But as I was saying, so probably at least going on every track. I don't know how many tracks there are. Not a ton. Uh, probably trying out every single car at some point. A split an image, which I believe, I think. Split image two. Thanks. We've seen it somewhere. I don't remember where. I want. Was it in the simulation or something? It's something we've seen. Never seen this one. Step. Takes a long time to load these models. I also apologize for the slow start that we're getting here. Sweet 16! Sweet 16 I didn't think I'd ever see that one again. I never saw it up until World Race. Oh man. Way too fast. Okay, uh, we're just gonna call that so fast. <laughs> if it wasn't so, if there was another so fast in this game, then we'd say way too fast is a relative, but. Diora. Oh jeez, it's the original Diora! Diora! I didn't know that ever appeared in a game. That's a vert, of course. Double vision. Not sure what that's gonna be. Evil Weevil. Evil Weevil. My god, that. The way these names are pronounced. 
Oh my god. Hot Wheels car. Really? Sure. Mongoose. Yes, I didn't know that. Power pipes. Burns here. No, I had no power pistons too. Power pistons. I didn't think I'd recognize so many cars here. Huh? Goon from World Race that actually helped us out. Purple passion. Purple passion. That will be. That will be Gearhead. Gearhead was playable in... Or in uh, Pearl Passion was playable in Velocity X GBA. Rash one. I didn't realize there's so many cars. Like, really? Red Berry. Shadow Jet 2? Shadow Jet. Oh man, okay, so that's probably gonna be Metacog. If there's another car for Metacog, that'll end up, this will be, end up being auto. Speed Blaster. Speed Blaster. I just had no idea I had so many cars. Wait a minute. What did I, what made me think this? I thought Vulture was in this game for some reason. Well, what what did I mess up there? Unless there are local cars, that doesn't seem to be the case. It's weird. Huh. But so who do we have with, have with us? We have someone I think it is. Split image two. I also think of someone else. Someone that we've seen before, but don't know anything about. Let's say that. A racer from World Race for some reason. So fast. Vert. I have to assign some cars to some of these guys. Burn. Otto's goon. That was actually in World Race. Purple passion. Gearhead. Metacog. Red Berry. Red Berry. Now what will the rest be? I feel like I should also have these others actually be people. There was one car I wasn't sure I'd be in this game or not. Ah, I don't want to go ahead without actually saying who's going to be who. Actually, no, there's no... Well... Hot Wheels car. This looks too much like... This kind of looks like 24-7. Vaguely, let's say that's drifting 24-7. In fact, he got the... <laughs> he sold out. He sold himself out. He's going to be the product placement guy. So that's drifting 24-7 for us. Is there anything that really looks like... That's race cam. Mongoose has a silver looking car. Or there is a similar looking car. Or snake. One of the two is gonna be race cam. So I don't think there's anything that looks like stealth. Stealth. This could be silhouette, I guess. And I might do so a little bit more thinking as time goes on, but for now I'll leave things as they are. Because we already spent way too much time this episode without, without actually playing the game. I apologize for that. Because I know it annoys some people. I, I do this sometimes. I try to work on doing this and then I do it. I just don't know who to play as now. But you can let so fast have a break. Let's go with Vert. Although, Vert's probably going to ha have a better idea how to play than I know how to play right now. So I'm still have played as before. Was I supposed to be a newcomer somewhere? Go Street Rider. Track, I think Don Connor's the first one. Sign me in. Sure, I don't have player data yet. Okay, here we go. How many wor words do you have to work with? Or how many letters do you have to work with here? My name is usually too long. Ah! Let's just go with blocks. I think the same thing happened in Stretch Out Challenge. There we go. Load save password. Oh, password too. Huh. Wait, so there's... Okay, so there is unlockable stuff then. Okay. I don't know what exhibition is. Okay, so these are kinds of things. So challenges. Cups. So that's why I haven't unlocked stuff. Practice. Let's actually start with practice. Uh, let's go to whoever you want to play as. Street Rider. I think we'll say this is going to be a sort of somebody later on. There's a certain Street car Rider. that will be appearing probably in a few games you're going to play after after this one. Let's say it's going to be that car. So I'll identify that car when it appears in a later game. But for now, here we go. Oh, thanks for telling me how to play now. Turning on analog. Oh. 
I, I don't have an analog like enable disable on my controller. I'm using a PS3 controller. Uh, I apparently don't have analog turned on, so I guess I'll use the DVD. I don't know if this game actually accepts analog input or not anyways. I might just use the analog stick to... Oh jeez, we have physics! To... Simulate... Or to... Give... Digital input. Oh jeez, rotations! I got three turbos! Can I use those turbos? Oh wow, you actually do use, them, use your turbos one at a time. It's strange. Okay. I don't know if this music is like too old for you to even recognize it as licensed or something. Whoa, I had, I had uh, some momentum there that I didn't realize what I had. I like my lack of units for my speed in the top left corner. Oh, whoops. That's the reset button. I was worried from the very beginning that I'd accidentally press that. Do I actually lose any turbo for that, of curiosity? No, okay. Oftentimes I notice that you lose boost in games like this whenever you respawn. the hand rate, yeah. Break. That's camera. Oh, jeez. It's not good. The one thing I'm... So, there are power-ups in this game, as far as I can tell. The one thing I feel like I'm missing out on is how... You use those power-ups. For some reason, I don't remember that. It's really weird. Sometimes I can control myself in there, sometimes I can't. Sure, that was tribal in some capacity. Right, let's go with this. That's not the right button. I thought that was... Is that how you reverse? Is reverse not a thing? Is, the, is square just the break? Wait, I thought it was a break. I'm gonna have to look at some controls in a minute. After this. So that's just... Turbo. I thought there was an item. I don't know where they come up with these names. Wait. Ah. Maximum turbos. 4x4 four four only. What? I'm curious what that's supposed to mean. So yes, this is... I and mean, this was back in the day when I was expecting you to actually read instruction manuals for games. Which, like, is a long gone era. Maybe you just ma- oh. That's not how you do that. So don't mash your turbos. And then hit the wall. That's not how you do that. It's not circle, I already know that. It's not triangle. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm kind of confused by. And it's good that I'm figuring this stuff out now, instead of later. I don't, I don't think these things activate automatically, do they? Doesn't feel like it. So let's go back to... Oh, actually something messed up was. Thanks. So let's see what this says about the things I thought I knew and in fact don't. Controls. No, I don't see anything about using power-ups. Uh, hmm. I might actually have to read them or instruction manual or something later on after this recording session, but that's going to be five full episodes and not knowing what to do. So we'll see what happens with that. Also, what's airtime? I'm guessing that's our... I'm guessing airtime is for tricks. Three ways to win. Okay, so you can be the last one standing. I recognize a lot of cars here that we, we don't actually see yet. That's interesting. At least one. So, more so that there are some cars in World Race that are a lot older than I realized. But, so we're going to see more people that are going to be recognized. So I think Alex will appear later on. Apologies for spoiling that, I guess. Yeah, so you actually get points that way. Okay, cool. So I don't wholly know right now how tricks work in this game, though. Because I noticed. 
it seems to like like you doing th good things like that, for instance. So I didn't notice how you actually go backwards, though. I'd imagine that's the thing you can do. See, I guess the idea of turbo is just mash the button if you want to use it all at once. And you go really fast that way. <laughs> Points for just air. So you can eliminate your opponents, though. The question is how you eliminate, eliminate opponents, then. Which will probably learn a little bit by example. And also, man, I'm hearing these songs that are clearly licensed music concerns me greatly because I've just had poor experiences with this sort of thing in past playthroughs of other games like SSX games when they have such music. Getting videos muted and whatnot, having to re upload them multiple times with certain songs removed and whatnot. Blah. Because otherwise, I don't mind listening to it at all. It's just that one concern. Okay, so we'll, let's get into the real thing. And see what the world has in store for us. I'll make this first episode a little bit longer. In exchange for having taken Solon Kid off the ground. Let's start with the race, though. Turbo to win. There's Twin Mill. Oh yeah, Twin Mill wasn't even a selectable car. Well, actually, do I really spoil that Alex is in this? I'm pretty sure the reason I know Alex is in this is because you see Vulture in the opening cinematic. I'm pretty sure. It's going to take us time to recognize these guys. New paint jobs. Metacog with that weird paint job, for instance. Sweet 16. I guess I'm going this way. Don't want to. I start off with some turbo. That's interesting. Yeah, you have to be really careful about physicking yourself. But thankfully, the only thing that's going to physics us in this game is going to be how do you roll though? That I'm going to have to be careful about because see, nothing in the controls have told me how to roll. Wait, unless, I don't think the game just told me how to roll on that screen I just saw. I think. That would be important. So yes, this will be a learning curve for me. I'm gonna have to figure out this stuff out. Jeez. Whoa. Uh, especially figuring out how to turn, how to reverse, because that's a problem. Also, four laps. That's interesting. Game seems to have some interesting perspectives on when to draw things on top of other things. Hopefully the loading screen tips will also help me out a good deal. We'll see. We'll see. Also, interesting music. I didn't expect this song to be what it is. Yeah, it's a little strange how this game sometimes... Hang circle trying to... It's a little strange, though, how the game seems really inconsistent about when it does and doesn't let you yeah, control yourself in the air. Oh, jeez. Okay. There's something down there that I might pass up. Compressed air. Okay, dressing name. Yeah, because you have a lot of momentum when you're rotating. Hey, Sweet 16. Was there even a person drag Sweet 16? I don't remember if we decided against that at one point or not. Alright. Hey, sh I, should I just be using tons of turbo more than I'm using? Because I, I am being a little conservative with it. What? Why, why did that happen? I feel that was not what should have happened. I think there was an earlier point where I was talking about how it's to worry about physicking ourselves, so to speak. But I don't think I quite finished that thought. Reason being that, that of course, that is no longer 
Now let me give us the problems that we were having before. Metacog, the newcomer is gonna show you a thing or two. I don't know what these tricks mean half the time. It's interesting how I can just see who's next to me though. Through walls. Whoever this guy is can see through walls apparently. Okay, so holding a brake does not seem to make you do corkscrews or barrel rolls. So somebody got stuck over there. Look at that. So I'm actually not in last now. But there's still time to run into problems. Because dumb stuff like that, for instance. Come on. Why can't I figure out how to... This is a problem. Like, I'm going to have to try to rectify this, like, immediately. Like, I, holding the break in drive bonds is not reverse, which I, is a scheme I've seen in some games. But I get ahead pretty well. It's just that I have, and then I have one dumb thing happen, and then everyone passes me. I'm not too bad at the comebacks. But pressing the triggers doesn't seem to make me do barrels, but I know barrels are a thing because I've seen how people do them. It's weird though, the, the controls don't tell you the whole story. It seems like. Okay, not that that time just nothing happened. I was pressing buttons. Or I, I mean, I was pressing directions in the air. Okay, this will be a learning experience. I do think I'll, I might try to find some stuff to read up on if I can. Off screen between this episode and the next, just so it's not as painful to watch. This is painful to play, and no doubt painful to watch as well. As a result, no, no 16. Keep missing that. Stop it. Jace! This is what keeps happening. Oh, come on. Some interesting things happened at the end there. Darn it, just barely got beat by... Metacog. Okay, though, but I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when things hopefully go a little bit more smoothly, where I actually know how to play the game. I'll re read up a little bit. Sorry about some strange things being strange this episode, but, well, we're here to have fun. Remember that. No more dramatic stuff right now. See you then, guys.